welcome you all to part uh, four of the chapter atoms according to bohr electrons revolve around the nucleus in a definite orbits means orbits are fixed around the nucleus in which electrons rotate these fixed orbits has fixed radius and fixed energy in this session we will be deriving the expression for energy of nth orbit of hydrogen atom so let us consider the electron of mass m and the charge e which is revolving around the nucleus of charge z e since we are taking it for hydrogen atom let me substitute value of z is equal to 1 now here so the the charge of nucleus is also e now here right so this is plus c and this is minus c and this electron is revolving with the velocity v and let r be the radius of nth orbit according to rutherford we came to know that the electrons which are revolving around the nucleus is due to centripetal force and that centripetal force is provided by electrostatic force of attraction between nucleus and electron since nucleus is positively charged electron is negatively charged there will be a force of attraction and that force of attraction provides the necessary centripetal force which is required for this electron to revolve around the nucleus that is why we take it as centripetal force is equal to electrostatic force right so what is the formula for centripetal force mv square divided by r electrostatic force it is given by coulomb's law that is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not a product of the charges the charge of electron is e the charge of uh, nucleus is also e let me take e to e divided by r squared so we will be getting with this expression now one thing what we need to remember here is that when the electron is revolving around the nucleus it has two kinds of energy one kinetic energy and another one is potential energy so what is the formula for kinetic energy half mv square that is why let me keep half mv square and transfer all the terms to that side anyway right so we will be getting with mv mv square e to e e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught if i transfer r to that side now here 1 r will get cancelled and we will be remaining with this r now here right so we got the expression for mv square now let us take total energy of electron that is capital e is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy kinetic energy we know the formula that is half mv square potential energy this expression we get from electrostatics that is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught product of the charges and one thing what you need to remember is when we take about a electric potential we need to take about its sign here that is the charge of the nucleus is e the charge of the electron is minus e divided by distance and the distance is what now here r okay let me simplify now here this is we know what is the value of mv square this is the value let me substitute half and if i substitute this mv square that will be e square since it is half let me take 4 into 2 let me take it as h pi epsilon not into r now here so this is kinetic energy plus potential energy this is a minus e square we will be getting with this and a 4 pi epsilon not into r if you take this to expression e square divided by 4 pi epsilon not r is common let me take it outside so what is remaining here that is 1 by 2 minus what is remaining here minus 1 okay, right so 1 by 2 minus 1 right if i uh, calculate this half minus 1 is minus half now here so we will be getting with the minus e square so 8 pi epsilon not into r so let me take it as equation number 1 and this is the expression for energy but we have already derived what is the expression for radius of nth orbit let me substitute in that equation so we came to know that the radius of nth orbit of hydrogen atom is epsilon not n square h square divided by pi m e square if i substitute in this equation we will be getting the expression for energy right substituting equation 2 in equation 1 so let me take epsilon not n square h square pi m e square in this equation minus e square 8 pi epsilon not so if i substitute r is in denominator so let me make it reciprocal and uh, substitute here again so pi m e square divided by epsilon not n square h square right if i calculate this you will be getting with e is equal to minus m e is to 4 pi pi will get cancelled here right so again uh, divided by h epsilon not epsilon not epsilon not square n square and h square pi get cancelled so this is the expression for energy of nth orbit of a hydrogen atom right as we know that m m is constant that is the mass of the uh, electron again the charge of the electron is constant epsilon not is constant h is constant if i substitute all this value we will be getting even more simpler form of this uh, expression now let us check it out that now let us substitute the values of uh, m 
e epsilon naught and h in that equation we will be getting with en is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square electron volt energy will be minus because this negative sign indicates that electron is bound to the nucleus and we need to supply the energy to remove that electron from that orbit so the energy will be negative and energy of nth orbit of hydrogen atom is en is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square electron volt if i want to find what is the energy of first orbit substitute n equal to 1 if we substitute n equal to 1 we will be getting with minus 13.6 electron volt if i want to find what is the energy of second orbit substitute n equal to 2 now right if you substitute n equal to 2 that will be 4 that is minus 13.6 divided by 4 that will be minus 3.4 electron volt the energy of the third orbit calculated can be calculated by substituting n equal to 3. We will be getting with the minus 1.51 electron volt. And this is how we can find energies of different orbits of a hydrogen atom here, right? If you observe here, the difference between first and second is more as compared to second and third, right? So this can be drawn in energy level diagram here, right? So this is the first energy level, second, third, fourth n equal to 1, first energy level, n equal to 2, second energy level, third energy level, fourth energy level, fifth energy level, sixth energy level. There will be infinite number of energy levels. Let me take n equal to infinity. That is the last, last energy level, right? So if n equal to 1, the energy is minus 13.6 electron volt. n equal to 2, minus 3.4 electron volt. n equal to 3, minus 1.51 electron volt. Like this, we will be getting these energies by substituting the values of n. And these are the energy levels. By this, we can conclude that the difference between the first and second energy level is more. As we go with the higher energy level, the difference decreases, right? And the transition takes place from high energy level to the low energy level. If the transition takes place from any of the higher energy level to the first energy level, that kind of series we call it as a Lyman series. If the transition takes place from any of the higher energy level to the second energy level, then it is called as Balmer series. If it takes place to the third energy level, then it is called as Bastian series. If transition takes place to the fourth energy level, then it is called as Bracket series. If transition takes place to the fifth energy level, we call it as Fund series. And we know that Lyman series lie in ultraviolet region. Balmer series lie in visible region. And all these three series lie in infrared region. And this is all about energy level diagram right thank you